What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video for you guys. And I know I told you before that I'm not gonna bore you guys with data logging my car, but I'm actually gonna be data logging my car. I just finished uploading the tune revision that my tuner sent me. This is actually the second revision because on the last time I data logged my car, it was acting kind of funky. It uh, it didn't want to rev out past 5,000 RPM. He said I might be getting a spark plug blowout, but I don't know. I'm not gonna show you guys exactly how I gapped my spark plugs because I did make a video on that, but I did gap them to, I believe, 32,000. And he said if it is a spark plug blowout, then I would need to take them all out and gap them down to 28,000. I don't really know the exact science behind the spark plugs, but hey, I gotta listen to my tuner. Streetcar Revolution is coming up this Sunday. And Peggy, you're looking kind of good. But I do have a few things that I would like to touch up before Sunday. But I don't know if I'm just going to get to that or not. One of the things that I would like to touch up is this. I mean, it's nothing dealing with performance, but I just don't like this. I mean, it might be a rust spot that was there before I even got the car. And I might just have to tend to that. Of course, I need to get my tune fixed for this, but I'm working on that right now. And I don't know what I'm going to do with my wheel and tire situation. Should I keep the street tires on there? I mean, most likely I think I am, but you never know. Before I actually start uploading the tune, I'm gonna let Bruce out because he's back here acting a fool, all this hollering and stuff. It's getting on my nerves, so you might see him running around and whatnot. Why are you always doing all that hollering, bruh? I know these people getting tired of hearing you holler. I believe I'm about to go ahead and switch over to the head mount and GoPro just to give you guys the point of view that I'm going to be looking at whenever I'm doing this. And then, I mean, I'm going to go for a test drive. Alright, so first things first, my tuner told me that I need to change this to the second setting on the Diablo Sport Mafia. And for those of you who don't know how to change the setting on this thing because I didn't at first, you literally, all you have to do is just take this out. I hate whenever I work on my car and I just mess up all my fingernails and chew them off and all kind of stuff like that. I hate that. But as you can see on the inside of here, that there are numbers and these are for different settings. I don't know exactly what the settings do, but he just told me to switch it over to the second setting. It was pretty easy to turn. All I did was literally just use my finger and turn it and it turned nicely. All right, but now that I have that squared away, I just remembered I need to change out my air filter. I still haven't done that. Don't roast me in the comments. But if you want to roast me, you can because I quite deserve it. Ugh. Now it's time for me to upload this tune. Da -da 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 turn key on do not start engine like i said i'm not gonna bore you guys with this so i guess i'll see you whenever i'm done uploading the tune a few moments later all right so that's done uploading starting it up started up nicely started up nicely just like i thought it would um i have my laptop with me just because i am gonna be data logging but um you're just gonna see a little snippet of that it should run pretty smooth like i said before my car wouldn't go past 5,000 rpms it started breaking up and the rpm started climbing very very slowly so i would just let off the gas i haven't went in boost since i've done that because i don't know i'm a little scared of cat when it comes to things like that with a 150,000 mile boosted car so i don't know i'm just gonna take things slow and just try to get my tune right before sunday and by the way guys this is a 91 octane tune my tuner gave me a 91 octane tune just because it's the safer route to go whenever i'm trying to data log and things and he's gonna tune me up for a 93 octane tune after i finish data logging this and that's just because i added the booster pump and i'm trying to get the math setting right and we're trying to just test some things out and make sure i don't blow my car up in the process day two good morning everybody and welcome back to the vlog this is day two of this vlog and i'm kind of on a time crunch right now i have a couple things i need to do before i need to start getting ready for work which is in about an hour or so so i have just a little bit of time to do the things that i need to do starting off with i need to change out my air filter finally on pegasus but i need to go to walmart which is in that direction about 10 minutes that direction and i'm gonna need to go to the bank also just to deposit some money and i have a 
few other things that I want to do before I actually leave and go to work. We are now finished with data logging. Me and my tuner, we got everything squared away, but I still need to upload the tune. And I think I'm going to give you guys some pulls in this video. But as of now, let's go ahead and go to Walmart. So I just made it back from the bank. That was a success. But as of going to Walmart, that was a fail. They didn't have the four and a half inch air filters like I needed for Peggy right here. She's a big girl. She needs a lot of air coming in. And we're just not getting that today. But I do plan on at least cleaning a filter or something before I go out to the track tomorrow so we can run the best possible times that I can with the car. But as of now, we're about to upload the tune finally and see what Peggy's got. So uh, give me some time to upload the tune. I'm gonna switch over to the head mount and we're gonna do some pulls for you. All right, everybody, time for the first startup. And she started up quite nicely once again. All right, so for all of you who don't know, my car was tuned on a 91 octane tune just to lower the timing and lower a few other things just because I had to get my MAF installed, well, my Diablo Sport Mafia, and I had to also install my booster pump. I was going through a few things with my airflow and my fueling. I was pretty much maxing out my fueling and maxing out my airflow sensor and that caused me not to make as much power as i should have been and it probably would have caused me problems in the long run but now i'm i changed my clothes because i'm about to head to work and so i want to see how this thing drives now it was a supercharged car but i can see now that it was the fueling uh, i hope i do pretty good sunday at streetcar revolution like i said i'm gonna be trying to do something with the air filter because it is pretty dirty she runs like a champ Thank y'all for watching.